Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk you through how I decoupaged and decorated this little jar and turned it into a candle. So hopefully this might give you some ideas for how you could repurpose these smaller jars that we all have at home. So I start with this little jar, so I've already taken the labels off of it and give it a good clean with warm soapy water. And then I take methylated spirit, put a little bit of it on a cloth and rub it all over the jar, just making sure that there's no grease or anything left on the jar before I start decoupaging it. So next I take this piece of rice paper. So this is a piece that I've bought back in September. I bought this on eBay. I'll try and find it and link it for you if I can. Um, so I decided to go for these two envelope designs. So as you can see I'm just using my fingers to kind of rip the pictures out of rice paper so please don't use scissors to cut them out make sure that you always rip them out because if you cut them the edges are going to be way more visible it's much easier to mask them and to make them blend in if they are ripped so next i take this decoupage glue and i apply a little bit of it onto the jar just trying to match the size of the picture apply the picture on just kind of press it down with my fingers make sure that it's down all the way and then apply another coat of this decoupage glue over the top of the picture and then repeat the same process on the opposite side of the jar. Next I take this big piece of blank rice paper, so this one doesn't have any pictures on it, it's just white rice paper and it was sent to me by Eden's Craft Creations on Facebook, I will link the shop down in the description for you and I rip out the pieces to go in between the pictures. This kind of big piece of a plain rice paper is always a handy thing to have if you're in general planning to work with rice papers because they can be really useful to kind of blend the uh, motifs together and just kind of make your own collage fill in any blank spaces that you might need to fill in and so again I just do the same process I apply a little bit of glue in the space where I'm gonna put it then put the rice paper over the top kind of press it down with my fingers and then apply another layer of glue over the top and then I left it to dry I left this to dry overnight but you don't have to a few hours should be enough for it to dry So as you can see here, once it's dry, it all turned translucent. So as you may have already noticed, I did not paint or prime the jar at all because I knew that I wanted to make it into a candle. And of course, if you're making it into a candle, you want it to be a little bit see-through, you want it to be a little bit translucent so that you can see the light. And so that's what I did. I did, however, apply a little bit of paint as you can see here. So I just took a little bit of this white acrylic paint and this is the most translucent white acrylic paint that I have. So this is literally just the cheapest um, 99p paint that I bought from my local uh, shop in like the kids craft section and so I just use this little sponge dabber to apply a little bit of paint on the top and the bottom of the um, of the papers just to mask the edges a little bit create a bit of a frame around them and of course if you wanted to you could go all the way to the top of the jar I didn't want to I personally like to leave a little bit of glass showing through but it's completely up to you which way you want to go around it also if you don't have one of these sponge dabbers take a kitchen sponge cut a little bit of it and you can use that instead So then I decided to add a little bit of sparkle paste through a stencil in the parts in between the pictures of the rice paper. So where I have the plain rice paper, I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to it. So I take this sparkle paste, um, I used masking tape just to make the application a little bit easier so that I don't go overboard because I wanted it to be like um, three by two rows. Um, it kind of fit in there perfectly so I, I wanted to keep it that way so I used a little bit of masking tape to help me with it and so as you can see I just press it down apply a little bit of sparkle paste through it then take the stencil off leave it to dry and then repeat the process on the other side so once I've done the other side, I decided to go a little bit overboard and add a little bit of sparkle everywhere. And so I just take a small brush and kind of brush on the sparkle paste over literally everything, over the picture and the white outlines that I just created earlier. Because I'm using a brush, it's not going on in like a thick layer. It's kind of just spreading glitter around. 
so um, I'm not usually the one for a lot of glitter but because it's a candle um, and I can't wait for the candle to kind of burn through a little bit so that you can start seeing the glimmer um, I just thought it would it would look really really nicely when you get to that stage next of course I mean is it even my project if I don't add a little bit of uh, liquid pearls or contour liner dots over it? So I take this Pebeo contour liner and added a little bit of these dots on the top and the bottom of the jar. I mean, it wouldn't be a project made by me if I didn't add a little bit of these pearls. <laughs> So once the sparkle paste and the pearls were dry, I decided to glue on this little um, pearl ribbon around the top as well, just to once again add a little bit of extra prettiness. And so I'm just using a hot glue gun for that. As you can see, I'm just working in small sections so that I can glue the pearls on before the glue dries on me. So and so I just wrap it all the way around the top of the jar and then of course once again would it even be my project if I did not age it a little bit so I take a little bit of this brown acrylic paint and a dry natural bristle brush and brush a tiny bit of paint over kind of everything <laughs> just to kind of show off a bit of dimension and just add a little bit of that vintage look to it that's just who I am I like um, I like to dirty things up a little bit make them look a bit used um, of course, you don't have to if you like the more cleaner, neater look, then that's absolutely fine by me. Feel free to skip this step, but that's what I like to do, so that's what I did. <laughs> and so next it was time to actually pour the candle, so I just take this pillar candle that I had lying around at home. I broke it up as best as I could. I still ended up having to leave this, leave a big chunk of it to just melt as it was. It was quite the task, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so I broke it up as best as I can and then I took it in my kitchen, put it on the hob for about 20-25 minutes on like really low heat setting on a two. I have an electric hob so it was easy to maintain the uh, low heat and I ended up taking the same wick out of the candle that I already had and so I stick it in between these two barbecue sticks taped together so that it stays in place and then once the wax was melted I poured it into the jar and left it overnight. So next morning I chopped the wick to the length that I that I needed and decided to add an extra ribbon. So um, of course, again, because I'm going for the vintage look, I wanted to age it up. So I measured out how much ribbon I would need kind of roughly. And then I scrunch it all up into a ball tie together with a string. And again, took it in my kitchen and boiled it in water for about two minutes. Then once that was done, I took it out, untied the string and there you go. You have a nice scrunched up vintage looking ribbon. I had to leave it to dry for a little bit, it was quite wet. And then once it was dry, I tied it around the candle, made it into a bow. And then again, I take a little bit of this blue paint, uh, literally the tiniest little bit, and a dry natural bristle brush, and add a little bit of blue to the ribbon uh, because it was looking a bit too white. And I wanted something to echo the ribbon and the flowers on the rice paper picture. And then of course, again, I took the same brown paint and added a little bit of brown. So again, same stuff. Pick the tiniest little bit of paint up with my brush, brush most of it off onto my plate, and then whatever is left on the brush, I brush it onto the ribbon. And so there you go, that is the final result. So this is what the candle looks like. I have already used it as a prop for a video that I'm currently filming. It's gonna appear in the middle of the video, but I don't care, I'm, I'm ready to use it. <laughs> So yeah, let me know what you think to this project. I haven't sealed it with anything, so we'll see how that goes. If you wanted to seal it with something, if you wanted to make it a little bit more long lasting, I imagine, then you could just use some kind of gloss or satin water-based varnish. I mean, matte if you're not using any glitter, but just keep in mind that matte varnish will dull down the glitter that you have added, but I have not sealed it. So we'll see, we'll see how long this um, little jar lasts but this is what it looks like. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know what you think to my little um, ivy plant cameo in this video. Did you enjoy looking at it? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out a way of kind of making the 
making the videos a little bit more pleasant to look at, a little bit more interesting because I feel like um, just the white table background is a little bit boring. So I'm just trying to experiment with a few things. So let me know what you think or should I just go back to my normal white background? Let me know. Is it a bit too distracting? I would like to know. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps out. If you would like to see more videos like this and other decoupage related tutorials, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you would like to connect with me on any of the social medias, links are going to be down in the description below. As always, all of the products used in this video are going to be linked in the description as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.